I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foss from Kajin Cosplay and tonight we're back again with you guys with Viking! Episode 5 of Season 4. Yes. Last episode ended with a stranger, another king, king. showing up in, in Karagat and basically saying, uh, there's a girl I want to marry and I want to prove myself to her before I can marry her, so I want to become the king of Norway. All of Norway. <laughs> But he needs to overthrow Ragnar Yes, first. Ragnar showed up looking at him. He was sitting on his chair, playing with his kids, talking to his wife. And Ragnar, he's been really distanced from the kids recently. Uh, Aslog is pushing him away a lot. He's spending time with the ex-slave that is giving him drugs because he needs to let go. He's so... There are, there are too many worries in his head right now. He needed to free himself a little bit. And he's enjoying his time there, but... He shouldn't have to, you know, he should be happy with his family and right now I feel like he's not, like there's too much happening in his head. So there's a lot of problems coming. I really don't like that new guy, I have a bad feeling when it comes to him. Uh, what else? Bjorn is back. Yep. Changed and man. Took Torvi. Torvi. Torvi with him. Yeah. Well, I mean, they had a connection, she decided to go with her, with him. I feel like it's okay, she's basically doing what Lagertha had to do, which is go for herself, you know, look for a, a good life because your kid is going to be okay. Your kid is going to have a great life. But if you stay with the kid, you're going to have a miserable life and the kid is going to see that. So leave with them if you want. And that she did. She left with them. So Bjorn is back. I don't know if I'm okay with that decision, but I'm not going to speak on it. Especially since, if I remember correctly, that kid is not even little shit's kid. Yeah. So what, you married her and all of a sudden he has all the rights to this kid? It's bullshit. Anyway. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of, uh, of other stuff that happened, but we will uh, jump into this episode right now. Sorry if we are babbling. Like, I don't know, English doesn't work for oh, us. English is bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's jump in episode five and All see right. what Ragnar does about that stranger. Good. Let's go. I, too, have a surprise. Is she pregnant? I am with child. Oh, please keep keep that one, please. I don't know if I want her to keep it. The guy is planning to kill her son. More than I can say. I mean, for her. Yeah, true. Marry me, like I said. Marry me. I've always known that we were fated to be together. Always. She told right now that they were fated to be together. So this is like. Eh. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. Say that you'll marry me. Yes for her, but no for the dude. I don't care about the dude. I just hope that she's not gonna lose this one. She deserves to have another child. Here's a king. What do you not care for your daughter, Siki? I care for her. Mm. This just reminds me of things I'd rather forget. What kind of man takes a mother away from her child? You tell me. You tried to take me away from my mother. Oh. That is not the way it went. Technically, it wasn't Ragnar that was trying to keep him, it was the others. This is not easy being a father. This is even harder being a husband. Maybe I have failed it, but. Yeah, okay. No. With both of your wives? Yeah. You asked for a private audience. Oh, is it their plan coming to fruition here? Why? Your Highness, forgive me. I am reluctant to discuss matters which relate directly to my superior. You mean Count Odo? Highness, I am troubled that you always trust his word. Why? Because he is ambitious, ambitious beyond ambitious, so that even an emperor's crown would not sit untidily upon his head. And what are you, if not ambitious? Well, what are you saying? Do, do you have any proof of this? I have the word of his mistress. And as your highness knows, 
A man will always divulge the truth first to his mistress, and only afterwards, if at all, to his wife. Very well. Let me talk to his mistress. His wife. <laughs> They're really... <laughs> Trust the evidence of this woman. Because this woman is my sister. Oh, what? What? Ah! Oh, dude! Oh my god, I got Does Game of Thrones flashback. Talk freely of his ambition. He can't speak straight? What's going on? Yes, he does. What's wrong with him? He's gonna split apart at the seams. It's like he's losing it. Maybe it's because he's seeing. Uh, spring coming fast and faster and he's afraid of the Vikings coming back and now he's being told that his greatest advisor is against him. I don't know, it's like he's losing it. What is the name of your kingdom? China. Careful, he's gonna try to invade China next. <laughs> the Tang Dynasty. What about the Emperor? Tell me about him. The emperor had many daughters mm. with his wives and concubines. His concubines were looked after by the palace eunuchs. Eunuchs? Men who are not men. Why are they not men? The <laughs> blood was cut off. <laughs> I don't like that. Ouch. No. <laughs> they didn't like it either. Are you one of the emperor's daughters? My father was a merchant. I know. You told me that before. I don't know you. And you don't know me. Yet I want to tell you my most terrible secrets. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I will tell you when you tell me the truth about your father. Than oh, you're gonna become Giving addicted. A addict, yeah. Last episode, I thought it was maybe needed, but this is too much. So we are agreed. You know me for a sinner, and I think you have already decided to cast me out into the darkness like a fallen angel. To suffer in purgatory or the fires of hell for all eternity. Thank you, Lord. That I can look upon such scenes with equanimity. That I do not dream in the dead of night of returning to your light and the promises of heaven. Am I not a man like other men? And yet, I would sup with the devil. If he would show me how to achieve my earthly goals, your kingdom, Lord, as you have said, is not of this world, but my kingdom is. That's the most truthful he's ever been. Another one? Oh, those are the bullets that we're waiting for. Maybe. Like, that's the brother? That's the one worse. that is worst? But <clears throat> you think maybe he's trying to get Bjorn on his side, get him to trust him a little bit, because he is Ragnar's son. Don't I don't know how to feel about him. This is my brother, Halfdan. Halfdan? I recognize the, the tattoos. <laughs> it's a great honor. He's, uh... When do we sail for Paris? You see me get to fight. Yes, it's true. Not just for the sake of fighting, but for the beauty of it. And against the Christians, yes, I hate the Christians. In the name of Odin, I would kill them all. You'll have the opportunity to kill a great number of them. Once we reach Paris. Nope, he's not doing well. He's becoming addicted to that. 
I don't want Ragnar to show up in Paris unstable. You must be excited to be going back. When I was young, I had the passion to win, but now, with age and all that comes with it, I have lost the desire mm. and the strength. A few years ago, I established a settlement in a distant country where I took many of my people and friends to make a new life for themselves. But shortly after my departure, they were all slaughtered their homes, destroyed and burned. I live with such guilt because of it. And nobody knows. Except Floki. This the emperor. Okay. I feel like Ragnar opens up to her, kind of like Egbert opened up to the the cross earlier. We can never be sure they are being truthful, but in these situations, yes. So I hope she doesn't betray him. You have kept that axe! Do not be afraid. It's not your fault. Yes, it's his fault! It's his fault! You're not doing this right? Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? No one, no one laughs at this! This is not cool! Damn it! Can you imagine what type of person he could grow up to be? If that's the attitude he takes? Oh, you can kill the children I brought. That's not your fault. You fight he, to he, get he what you want. He wanted to have the but... ball from you. He deserves it. You should ask around. Well, she that? probably knows. Mm, I think she will know to who the rings belongs to. Where did you find this? I took it from someone. Why are you so interested? I want to talk to you. You should tell him it's... What about? Us. We have moments when I feel so close to you. Especially when you're inside me, but then you don't want to talk, and I wonder why you really came for me and took me away from my child. I talk to you. This is not talking! <laughs> By the way, that was Erlander's ring. There you go. He got it from his father, King Horik. Thank you. Now please hurry up before your mother marries another traitor. She's gonna be beautiful though. Oh, With the blue and stuff. Dress. But if she knew she would do this. Legacy, you look so beautiful. <sighs> he told her she knew? Or it was always the plan? Well, she said that she's gonna kill them at some point. So even without Bjorn's help, she would have done it. You were always just a fuck friend. I think she had genuine feelings. 
But, uh, he did betray her, and you never forget. She's so fierce. No wedding today. Oh this is my God. army. My army. <laughs> Everything to do all over again. People keep stealing stuff from her and she gets it back the right way. Like she kills them and gets it back herself. There you go. The right way. Oh, she kills them. And well, that's how back. that's how you become Earl. You know, you yeah, kill you the Earl. The other one, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm actually really happy that she didn't go through with this. <laughs> it's true for a sec. I had forgotten that she had told them when they started sleeping together. I will kill you. One I'm going to do this with you, but one day, mark my word, you're going to be dead by my own hand. Yeah. And I, like I said, I feel like she did have some, some feelings for him. Like she did appreciate his company and they were close. But he betrayed her. He uh, betrayed her trust. And he deserved to go. You yeah. can never trust someone that did that again. Now I'm waiting for Bjorn to kill King uh, Oryx's uh, son. Oryx's son, yeah. Oryx's son, yeah. I am happy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay with little shit. I'm glad. Yeah, little shit is a perfect nickname <laughs> for him. At the beginning of the episode, when he was, you know, aiming at the other guy, I was like, the, is he like feeling betrayed that it, their plans are not going along? Does he think that he's gonna let you know let him down because he has feelings for Lagertha? Now he's dead. He's literally dead. So he's alone, and no one is following him. Like there is no yeah. one with him. He lost his wife, but he's got the kid. So and that's the thing. Like Bjorn, alone is one thing, but he's got Tori with him, and she has a weakness. Is it Tori or Thorvi? Tor, tor, I said Tori. Torvi. <laughs> Torvi, sorry. She has a weakness, the kid. So if Bjorn has feelings for Torvi, it can be used against him. I'm really, I like the conversation, by the way, he had with Ragnar about being a good dad and a good, a good husband. Yeah. It is hard to be both. I feel like Ragnar has failed at being a husband. But he, he is doing his best at being a dad. And I when I see him with his sons... I actually really like what I'm seeing, like what he's teaching them. Think before you act, you know, don't think with your heart, think with your head. And always make sure that you have a strategy in place. Like what he teaches them is good. Which it just, it's why I'm really sad that Aslog is taking Ivar away from him. Because this is not the sort of kid I want to see grow in this show. Like this is not the way he should be. I hated what he did. But bas basically I think that he's doing his best right now at, at being a father. And Bjorn should take some notes on that. Because we haven't seen Siggy since her mother left. No, we haven't. But she's still alive. She's still there. I know. He's not taking care of her. <laughs> I remember that I said that this show has a... Uh... Feud, I guess, the daughters and the, every single daughter she just died. died. <laughs> but so um, I just hope that she's gonna survive. I think, I mean, Bjorn basically admitted that uh, the reason why he doesn't want to be with his daughter is because she she reminds me, she oh, reminds funny. me, she reminds them of, of his wife. I can understand that, but, but it's not the baby's fault. It's, it's so, it's your daughter. I know. And I know that you guys said that Bjorn is not his father, he does not figure himself out. Um, as much as the father that his father is doing. What? I, <laughs> Sorry, guy. Bjorn is not his dad. Bjorn is not his dad. For him to be a father is not as much as important than yeah. his father. Which actually brings me back to the, the cheating and stuff. Ragnar has been told that he was going to have several sons, which he has now. He has several sons. But <clears throat> I think when we're talking about what do you want in life, that's always been his goal. Yes, he has ambition, but not for himself as much as just discovering the beauties of the world, learning as much as possible. His true ambition was always about leaving behind a legacy in his children, making sure that he was going to have a huge family. I don't know what his past was like. I don't know if he lacked love when he was a kid, but it's like he... He starves. He's starving. You know, he wants these people around him and he wants to love so much and he wants to be loved by his family. He wants peaceful life with his family and that's not how it went at all. Yes, he did get his kids because of Aslog. But he betrayed Lagertha. He betrayed Lagertha to, to have, have that. 
And now with Aslog, it's never really been a good marriage. It's never really been a good relationship. And after that, when he was always gone because of his duty, because of his ambition of, of just discovering stuff, it's almost like he's got two huge dreams, the kids and the discovery. And for a while, the discovery kind of won over the kids. And it didn't help when Ivar was born. And he was kind of, he didn't want to stay with them, you well, know? And he's Aslog. not happy when he's married with Aslog. Oh, so and I, there's that I too. I kind of understand why the Discovery Dream took a huge part in all. Well, yeah, that after kids. after Ivar, I feel like he he needed to be away, and their, his relationship with Aslog really didn't help. And she ended up sleeping with the the Wanderer, and he knows. And now it's just, especially since she started the season asking if a woman was gonna you know, take the throne after him. Like, she is uh, hoping for his death, almost, and it's it's horrible. But <laughs> these things, you can you su- can feel them. I wouldn't be surprised if during uh, their sleeping, he just gonna took a knife and just <laughs> like kill him and sleep. Do it Lagertha style. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, it's almost like... And I mean, you can feel this. When someone hates you so much or really, really doesn't want to spend time with you, you feel it, and he is not happy. I think that's why he ha- he spends so much time with... Um, what's her name? The Chinese girl. She... Idu? Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Idu? Idu, Maybe, yeah. maybe. Anyway, she offers him a quiet place where he can just spill his secrets and not be afraid of being judged, not be afraid of being told that it's stupid to think this way or to feel this way. It's like he can get rid of all the the, the load, all the weight on his shoulders, he can just get rid of it when he's with her. Which is sad because I, I don't know, I... I'd like to see him open up so much, like I like to to see to to hear how he feels deep down, but that makes him so vulnerable. Like you said, you don't trust her. At first, I thought she was good for him, but now he's becoming addicted to that drug, and he's admitting to stuff that is really sad. Like he feels tired. Do you think that it might be opium, maybe? Maybe, but he's becoming addicted, and it's it shows. Like when the brother showed up, he could that reunion, that that meeting could have gone. Several ways, but this was not in Ragnar's uh, best interest. You know, him just appearing out of it. And I don't know if it was blood, but with red on his mouth. I'm like, dude, that's not that's not how you meet fellow like leaders and boat builders and and just strangers. This is yeah. this is bad. So I'm like, it could go so worse. It could help, but it could go really, really bad. And I, I. After hearing him say that he's tired and he's, he's he feels old and he doesn't have that drive anymore, I'm like, dude. We already knew that he hated fighting, like he didn't want to fight anymore. That was too much for him. But but now it's like everything is too much for him. He doesn't even have the drive to discover new places. He's heard about about China, and I, when I was like, I was joking, like I was like, oh, well, don't tell him about China. He's gonna want to invade. But he didn't even react like he's like he's asking about her dad but it's more it's more in regards to his fascination with her than tell me more more about your country tell me more tell me more about your customs there is no drive it's like he's dying inside i hate this uh i'd like to talk a bit more about Harvard oh yeah and what he did this episode yeah. You know, when Ragnar told said you he wasn't he, a good idea to keep the, the axe. <laughs> to finish with Ragnar here, not being a good father, I feel like with Ivar, he should literally step, put his foot down and do something because this kid, this kid is not doing well. Not at all. It's almost like he's uh, he's been cuddled so much that he expects stuff to come to him, like he wanted to play, so people take him to play. And if he doesn't get the ball... He, well, he, fit, I, he, had, he has a fit. I understand that children at that age could be really hurtful and mean. And, yes, but and they, they technically weren't playing with them beside of the girl. She threw the ball. Well, he was left aside yeah. for sure. But when you don't, I mean, okay, Ragnar's way of doing things. We talked about this a bit last episode. If his son is different. He should work a little bit more in order to stand as tall as the others, you know? Make the effort to be as, just as strong. Or, I don't know, work on something else. Like, work on your brains, work on your Do strategy. Not let your handicap control everything in your life. Exactly. I, I feel like this is Ragnar's way of doing stuff. Like, don't treat him differently 
and make him understand that his handicap is not the end of the world and he should not rely on it. And I feel like his mother's way of dealing with him Since is the contrary. Since you're different, you can do mistakes, it's fine. If I'm you cry, yeah, you. if you cry, and I mean, I'm not for letting your babies cry, like this is not how I would parent a child, but uh, I'm gonna say it this way because it's easier to explain. I feel like Aslog's way is, if you cry, I'm gonna come right away. If you need something, I'm gonna give it to you right away. If you need uh, anything, I'm gonna be right there for you because she, he's her baby. Yeah, but, but because <laughs> of that, well, technically, when a baby, baby is crying, you're not supposed to let him cry. That's his only way of expressing himself. There are people that, that does think a problem. I know, but there are people that think that you shouldn't give him everything either. Like it's, we're not gonna enter that because uh, it's a debate. Yeah, <laughs> one of our friends gonna come at our at our home and just. <laughs> but I'm not for like personally. I am not for that way of thinking that you should let your babies cry. I don't like that, and I wouldn't be capable of that. But if you take Aslog's way of dealing with Ivar and you take it to the extreme, that's exactly what you end up with. A kid that if you don't give him the ball when he wants the ball, he's going to bash your head in with an axe. And she just... Oh, don't be afraid. It's not your fault. Yes, it is his fault. He is the one that killed the kid. At least Loki was shocked and terrified of what happened. But he smiled in the end. <sighs> he smiled in the end because I feel like maybe... You said earlier that you were afraid, in the other episode, you said you were afraid that he was going to take after Floki in a way that if Floki has a feeling or something, he acts on it. That's exactly what Ivar did in this episode. He wanted something, so he acted on it and he killed someone. Floki did the same with Avalstan. <laughs> did the god told you to kill the child for the ball? Yes, he did. No, but yes. when you think you deserve something, Flo I, th I think it, it with Floki, it's when you think you deserve something, you take it. In this case, it's not when you think you deserve something, it's when the gods give you something and people are trying to take it away from you, you take it. It's your god, it's your right, so you take it. You're not afraid to do, to do anything to get what you want. I can reverse that. Just what you said on what you... Sorry. I can reverse that. Yeah. And Dororo. Yakimaru said that he deserved to have his body. It's, well, there, yeah, it's but him. This he is... deserves. He's gonna take it no matter what he needs to do. Yeah, it's well, it's another show, and I was never for that. So yeah, I don't know where you're getting at, but this is another show, and I wasn't for that either. Okay. So I'm like, okay. Anyway, I really hated how he reacted, and more, most of all, yes, he's a kid, so he doesn't maybe understand how. Hard, uh, how bad this was, but Aslog's reaction, T -t 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 woman, stop it, come on. You don't say that to a kid who just killed another kid yeah. because of a ball. You oh. need to make him understand that what he did was wrong. Yeah. Shouldn't do it again. <laughs> like, Ragnar, it's time for you to stop taking drugs and be a dad. Please take care of your family. I hate seeing him like this. I hate, like, like... We saw his, like, he's shaking a little bit, he wants that drug over and over again, like, it's, yeah. it's bad, it's really bad. It's not, it's not horrible yet, but it could go really bad. Mm. Anyway. Oh, that reveal of the girl and the, the man oh, being brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters. Ugh. Game of Thrones 2.0? <laughs> I forgot it, it was in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it's already on Patreon. The link is in the description. Yep, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch it now. And if not, we will next one to be out on YouTube, guys. Very soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.